Yes, yes, yes. So good night. Well, depends on where you're at. You know, it's cool. <laughs> you know, <laughs> sometimes we gotta take a time off. You know, just a little time off and look carefully at what is happening in this world. You know, and it's a shame because a lot of people just going through this life not even looking up and see what is happening the head is down and they're just going through and not even caring what happening but anyway these days what is actually taking over the airways two things is messing up the whole thing right now and it's the case of homosexuality and the case of this religion thing with his Jews and everything you understand so let me explain Now I could remember way back when Buju sing that song about this bye bye thing, right? Now I don't know if I will get a a strike for this video, but seriously, I going to read it. Since after Buju sing that song, I think the system was against Buju. Serious, and I think that throughout his career after that they was at him watching him looking for some way to take him down because of that same song you understand eventually they catch him and they catch him with drugs but that is the word you know catch him with drugs he was basically they say trying to sell drugs to an undercover agent so that means that guy was undercover behind Buju for the longest while Buju end up spending some time in jail a good portion of time in jail I don't know what happened to Buju in the jail I don't understand that but when Buju come out now Buju, well, by that time, Buju money must be get real slim, you know? Because I think that was the objective. That was the objective of these people who didn't like the idea that Buju was singing about those people. So they take him down. They took him down and the money kind of get low, I guess. Because spending all these years in jail and spending money and money and coming in, it's a whole lot of different stories. Anyway, so as a result of that, you find that Buju, maybe his managers and the people who take care of business, organize shows for him all over the place. You know, this kind of freedom show, whatever he called it. He even came in Grenada and took some money too. You know, so all over he had this show. But there are places where the money looking good and Buju end up in a situation where they ask Buju to basically apologize for that song, you know? Yeah man! Otherwise Buju can't go anywhere else to sing. Buju eat humble pie and Buju apologize and Buju say I would never sing that song again. They turn the land into a kitten, you know. So, that song is out in the wind right there. Eh? You know, Buju even tried to get all the songs. Maybe that was the conditions to get a few dollars, you know. You know, because if your money low, you want to make a hustle. So, it's like, here we're going down. You have to disconnect yourself from that song totally. You can't sing that song no way. That song, you're not supposed to get money from this song, no, 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 no time at all. Yes, so they destroy Buju in that respect with that song, homosexual. Now, I don't know what happened with the guy inside it. I don't know, even now. But you know, Sizzla is a man who wants to stir up the thing and keep the flag flying, you know? Yeah, because I just always feel... If you are to stand for righteousness, stand for righteousness, regardless of what is the situation. Now, 
even recently I was hearing about you know M and M like to give them fellas an Emerald Thunder. You understand? I hate M and M. Well, you listen for those of you who who listen music and who know music, know M and M. Those burn them fellas hard. Yeah, well, M and M. I understand. Have to apologize for giving burning all them fellas in one of his song too. You see, so I ask him myself, what the hell is happening here on the face of you? You understand? So that means now, you can't say anything about these people because your life could be in danger. You understand? Your whole livelihood could go up in smoke if you speak righteousness. What's going on? You understand? What's going on in this place? Then you have, again, you look at Kanye West situation right Kanye West in a situation where maybe all his business partners you understand let him go why because he say fire burn up the um, them people and them who call themselves Jews don't they? you understand so these are the same people man could talk about these people I have absolutely no respect for those people because for one instance i know them people fake two these people and them was involved in the slave trade they was bringing our people over in america they had slave ships you understand what i'm saying so these people are people who did injustice to our people you know they go to war against our people some people actually trying to say that they help out with like a money in the civil rights thing two people you hear about who was involved in a civil rights thing in um in, in the days of Martin Luther King? Two of them. You understand? But you hear people like Kumu and them talking about they they supply money and they do this and no, that was joke. That is a lie. And even if they give a little small change, maybe it's their conscience because they were responsible for bringing a whole lot of slaves in this part of the earth. The same people who you call Jews. You understand? I just want Kanye West to get the get the gun straight and clean the guns to fire shot. You can't just say things while you have to let them people know you know them. You understand? We also know that these people are fake. You understand? This, watch. These people basically did us what they think that we that our ancestor did them. You understand? You remember the switching of the um uh, 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 of, of the um of the boat right you understand you remember that now these people hate us from ever since all these people is one set of people and our heads so hard we go and get we go and break in covenant under the Musa and make with us and he tell us we will be under and they will be on top yes so they go on top now instead of being we so they servant um our servants we are their servants now it's just a switch and them running around thinking that they have our identity but the scripture don't already say them fellas and them will be gentiles trodden down jerusalem until the end of time and that will that is happening currently you understand so then you just have to able to get your thing right when you're blasting these people these people and them is not real how is it these people and them only come to play eh? they only come to play when we was coming into slavery Eh? When we were coming into slavery and the, the Portuguese, when the same Pope and those people give the Portuguese right to come and grab us and bring us into slavery, that is when you start to hear about these people. That is when you hear, and you know, it's amazing because that is when you hear um, Shakespeare writing about those people. Those people who you call Jew was never what you call the Israelites, you know. These people were never the chosen of the of the most high, you know. These people and them give the name Jew. They call them Jew. Jew is a degraded word, you know. When they say you are a Jew, you're a nasty person. You ever read this story? You understand that uh, Shakespeare wrote mean the merchant of Venice? What shall you describe the Jew? They borrow their lenders, they give you money. And when they're about to take it back. They don't want the money, they want your life. They want a pound of flesh. That is the first experience in my life I ever heard about these people. So we know. You understand? Nobody ever never hear about them. As a matter of fact, 
how they become the chosen people of the Most High. But every country they went, eh? every country they went, people was running them out of the country. Because all these people thinking about is money and wealth and greed and, and all kind of nasty stuff. That is all they're doing. So if them was the, 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 the chosen of the Mosai, eh? that is how the Mosai drop it? No. You understand? So what I'm saying is that I just want them fellas to get a story right. You have to know these people. If you want to go to war with these people, you don't go to war with a rusty gun or you don't go to war with a gun you don't know how to use have knowledge about these people you understand so you will know exactly what you're telling them you see if you are to fight you can't fight on all kind of different fronts like hitler one place at a time so we know for a fact that these people you understand they did our people around they were bringing our people into into slavery they made money a lot of money in in the slave trade you see they did that now think about it again christian people are the people i just call christian the jews of them like to say christian used to fight them down christian never used to fight on these people these people was always disgusting in people country anywhere they go they just mess up the whole thing that is why hitler wanted to get rid of all of them well i know this video might have some problems you understand so you find that what happening here is this now now watch this thing is just mad you know this thing is just crazy Listen to the like music still, man. yeah for one moment i nearly get vexed you know so i just have to chill a little bit now christian never used to fight these people you understand no they lie now the thing about it is that christian people as it is today ask any christian person ask anybody who call themselves christian people and ask them who are the chosen people of the Mosai. They taught these people in their religions that the people who live in Israel right now is the chosen people of the Mosai. Hmm? They teach black people that black people are the Gentiles. I don't see which part of the Bible that say oh, our people is Gentiles. You understand, but I see which part of the Bible that say a man is real light. You understand. So they teach our people that we are Gentiles. And these people down there are the chosen people of the Mosai. Now, this is one of the biggest con the world has ever known. Serious. And most people wouldn't understand that. But it's confusing. But then let me see if I could shed a little light on it for you because I don't understand how you people thinking. You either you all double minded or you all trying to serve two masters. I don't know. Now in the Talmud, these people literally said. You understand? They literally said that the same Jesus all you worshiping. You understand? He born in hell. In excrement. They also say that his mother Mary was like a harlot because she had her son with a Roman soldier. And they even give a Roman soldier a name too. They say that in the Talmud. Now I heard certain priests from 
the, from the from the from from the Judaism system. They trying to explain that away and saying that they're talking about another Yeshua and Yeshua is just Jacob. Is a is is like is like um see well I never hear more. You know, watch and next Joshua and it's just Josh. Watch. Watch. These people and them are very terrible, you know. These people and them are very terrible. These people have America giving them a whole bunch of money. You understand? A whole bunch of money every year. I tell you, this is the biggest con the world has ever known. If this is not a 419, that 419 20 times over. You understand? I think these people create con. That is why you find that um, um, William Shakespeare described these people like that. The way he described them in the Merchant of Venice. You understand? That is the biggest con. What the Most High told us, our people, the Most High told us that if they love us, or if they treat us good, he will treat them good. If they treat, them, treat, us, treat, treat us good, then he will put the cost on them as normal. Now, these people, you understand, who are living in Israel, these people who America is treating the best, you understand, the best America treating them, then why is it that the Mosai is not blessing America like that? You understand? Why is it America function like if America have a big cost? America do have a cost. And not one cost. America have a lot of cost. Because American system was built on the blood of innocent people. They kill children. They kill dog. They kill mother. They kill father. They kill everybody. You understand? To take the land. We don't know that. When they finish... They go down in Africa, they and England and Portuguese and everybody take people, rob everybody, take everybody down there, children, everybody, bring them up here and walk them as slave for hundreds of years to build a country. So how? And the same people down in Israel down there. You understand? They take part in that slave trade. So how? The, the, what kind of God these people actually worshiping? And here the kicker, you know. The same people in Israel who the Christian people believe is the chosen people of the Most High. The same people who call themselves Christians believe in Jesus and Jesus and everything. Jesus Christ and everything like that. And it's the same people in Israel who doesn't believe in him because they say in their Talmud that he born in excrement in hell. You understand? So then, how that could be normal? Eh? How? Now, these same people know people, when people talk ag against them, they don't say them is anti-Semitic and whatever it is. Nonsense! These people are meeting poking in Israel as things weren't good. These people and them those have homosexual uh, demonstration and movements and everything in Israel as it is. These people are evil. So how is it when you talk about them? Eh? It's a sin. When you talk about them, it's anti-Semitic. How? How? What is world becoming to? So, like the scriptures say, you no, know, you can't say nothing. Every say everything nice, you know. What? You see, yeah, you have to say everything nice to please them, make them feel good. Because the minute time you say something that is righteous, they want to take you out for that. That is madness. You understand? That is craziness. I'll tell you something straight. I am not in support with everything Kanye West did, you know. Serious. Serious. I'm not in agreement with everything he did. You know, the whole idea that he had to boast about he's a billionaire, that is nonsense. You have to stop that. You understand? The whole thing about this white girl, you just like you can't get over that piece of white. Forget that. Get a black girl. Black. She had to be shining black. You understand? And hurt the feelings. And I know you go hurt the feelings if you do that. She had to be totally black. You understand? Yeah, man. Black roses, man. You had to get a black rose, Jen. You see? Once you get this black woman, you will burn them. You understand? 
You have 400 million, man, you are done still. Give a 100 million. You understand? And if you want to go, go and tell everybody that you're because you like to talk. Do that. And bone them. Hot their feelings. Show them what black love is all about. You understand? So I don't agree with you with running down behind this white thing on them. You understand? I can't support you there. That is nonsense. You understand? But then you have to get yourself together. Pull yourself together and step out like a done. And let me tell you something again. You see the whole fact that because of what you say they want to cut you off here and they want to cut you off there but now is the time to step out on your own i hear you make a thing that when they leave you that is the best thing you, you're supposed to be feeling free right now because you're not obligated to any any one of them you the money that you have you step out and do your thing don't make no wrong move do your thing you understand do your thing and be black you know, don't, don't let it be Jew and don't let it be white girl and don't let it be big bam bam walking the street. White, no, don't do that. That's all. What I'm saying is this, that a lot of black people going up against, against my man. Some of them, they sitting on the fence. Some of them, they don't want to say nothing. Maybe they just watching and see how the breeze blew. You understand? Just watching how the breeze blow because some of them basically saying, ah, well, I fell out of your own ideas, but then they ain't. No. You see that? Is that I support him or I don't support him? You know, you understand. You have, most of you, you all have business, business um, dealings with certain people, so you're afraid you'll lose your money. Man, Jed, all you have to wake up, black people. Wake up. You understand? And when a brother going down in a, in a particular road, step up, pull up. You understand? Ask him what I go on. You understand? That is what you guys have to do. Instead of man, big man who, I, who just play gangster and all kind of thing, talking foolishness. You understand? If that is your brother, pull him square and tell him, no, you could deal with that, you know. But you have to fuck that girl. You understand? A lot of a lot of a lot of us in this world, black people, I should say, running around in this world just thinking about the paper, the money. You understand? Yeah, just thinking about the money, the money. You all don't care. You know? But let me tell you something. Life for us is more than that. You see? What most of you fail to understand. The money could go funny in a day. Now for now. That whole system could come crumbling down like the Tower of Babel. And then what next? You know? So pull up. You know? So I wonder what is real. I thinking about that thing and I say, boy, what really going on in this place? So these people are them trying to shut down everybody. Everybody. Just shutting down everybody. Now, i making this video. I don't know if um, Sukabog might block it. They might have some algorithm. He wouldn't watch that video. But he, they set up some algorithm, I'm sure, to block that video or something like that. You understand? I don't know. Let's watch and see what's going on. The minute time you say certain things, it's like a red light. The minute time you say homosexual, eh. All of them antennas go up in the air. The minute time you say Jew, all of them antennas go up in the air. What are you saying about that? They want to get rid of you long time. That is nonsense. That is nonsense. Ah. Uh, no. They feel they could do us that because why? They have a lot of our people in their pocket. You know, they're making some of our people millionaires and when they're done, they could just pull the capital to you and bring you down to 400 million. <laughs> I mean, that is just crazy. Where all you come off? You know? You know the amount of cruel thing all they do? Look at Israel. Killing a whole, killing a whole set of people in Palestine. Children and everybody. Eh? All kind of people they killing down in Israel long day. In Palestine. Bombing the people place. America going all about and killing innocent people. You understand? In Iraq, millions innocent people for absolutely no reason. You understand? 
right set up problems in syria just name it just name it that's where they go and just killing people but when somebody come and they stand up for what they feel or what they see to be wrong or they want to destroy them oh where they come off or they come like back in the days when our people was in slavery in the chattel slavery though we still living in a slavery system and they don't want we mustn't say nothing we can't read we can't write and we shouldn't watch you all in your eyes we have to walk down bow walk with our head bow that is once upon a time it didn't happen again all of us could read all of us could hold one another and hang them all of us could shoot all of us could pray. All of us could do whatever. The same speed. It ain't happening like before again. And listen something. Think about that for a moment. Black people. The same way. They used to destroy. The strongest man in the community. These days. They're doing it differently. They're setting up people to destroy our influential people if they are supporting them you see most of them go and they get white woman yeah because they feel they will get they will feel secure all the time Kanye West had the white girl everything was going nice you know the many times they got a weave that they have a like a problem all of them want to take him down those others who are white women they will have no problems because they know they have to keep that nigga there to get the money at the end of the day but when you marry that black woman, remember you have to fight. But then you'll be a man and not a yam. When you get your black woman and you marry your black woman, you are man. But when you marry those nastiness and them, forget it. You understand? So that is how they're looking at it. Your safety net is some white woman once you have a lot of money. And what they are doing, as I said earlier, they are destroying your strongest men. Uh -huh. Think about it in the past. How much of them they destroy. And they even paying our own people to testify against our men. You understand? To pull them down. So once they destroy the strongest, the richest, the most influential, yeah, we in problem. It's the same thing they did. Martin Luther King, Malcolm X, Marcus Garvey, everybody, they're just destroying. That is the same thing. It's the same thing. It never changed. You understand? But it's just our people. You understand? You're just not looking. Look. Anyway, have a good day. Be at peace and be blessed. I hope they didn't block this video. But what am I going to do? Peace out.